Happy anniversary, PlayStation. This is Gaming Daddy bringing Limbo. Episode 3. Hello, fellow subscribers. Here we have Theodore and the flesh eating, mind sucking worm. Anyway, you go towards a uh, little ray of light and you can change directions. Still have full control over y our young Theodore here. And those creatures up there on that ledge will definitely play a role right now. After we hit this other ray of light, you can change directions. Again, go towards, go back towards these croaking things. I don't know what they are. Exactly, but they have teeth. Thank you. Theodore thanks you. He used the crate to get up on this rock. Keep going right. Just going along. This contraption is uh, another... It's not really a puzzle, but this part is a mini puzzle with a little hamster. Oh, how cute. That glowing stuff up there on that little ledge he he wanted to get at, so we're gonna hop up and down on that ledge to get it down. First we're gonna come over here to this little pool area. We're gonna take this I guess it's a log or something. We're gonna get back up to that ledge where the uh, pipe is with the chain. And that's gonna be the second part to the puzzle after we make it start <clears throat> excuse me, raining we have to make it rain with that first piece when we came into that area with the with the cog and the uh, little lever we're gonna cut off his exit we're gonna make sure he goes into that little area sorry little ham ham yeah, run Run for your life. Pull the lever. And I think I did it wrong, yeah, because you have to... Well, I'm thinking about it. I think you have to leave it down when to make the uh, make the puzzle keep going, because it's not exactly raining yet, so... Come on, Theodore. Go back to the wheel. Push and hold square until that happens. It'll start raining. You can go over to the pipe area with the chain, hold down on the chain. And the pipe will connect, because if you noticed, it's a part, so the chain is there to pull it down to uh, complete complete the pipe. The pool's going to fill up with water, bringing the little log section back up to the top, and it's timed. So you have to make sure you swing away right there, swing away from the chain so that we can get there on... Yeah, in time. I mean, it's not that fast, but it's quick enough. So, once you pass that, you're going to keep on going through limbo. Da -da 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 Our young Theodore, if you just joining us now, is a very fragile little child. He can die very easily. One fall... You know, too high, you're dead. If you hit by a, a bear trap, you're dead. So, this crate is going to come into play right here. Make sure you leave it approximately underneath this little door that you have to pull away. After you pull this lever, it's going to shut that little hatch and the water's going to fill up. So, you're going to quickly get up the ladder and pull pull the door get onto the crate make sure you stand somewhat approximately in the center
head onto the ladder and go to this next portion of this puzzle. Grab this fly infested crate with a hole in it. Which is great because you're not going to want to spend too much time on this crate because it'll sink. So you just want to get it high enough so that you can jump up onto this ledge and go to this next area of the puzzle. Make sure you go into the middle section. Don't slide all the way down because that water will fill up and you know what happens after that. Right. Bye bye Theodore. I've stopped counting, by the way, how many times I've died. I'll just leave it up to you guys. Comment down below in the in the comments and let me know how many times if you are actually keeping score on how many times I die in this game. I know it's quite a few. Uh, I want to say I'm nearing 15. Although I know it's probably going to be a lot more by the time I finish this game. But that balloon that came up when you open the door is going to push this crate up with the water. It's not going to sink. It's going to become a flotation device. So once you get up to this ledge, you're going to come to this area, which is another little mini puzzle. It's not really that hard. Pull the switch. That latch is going to open. Let in some water. And don't go away, because you're going to have to switch it off again. Once the pressure equals out, you can just push it back. Hop up here, hop over, hop over to this ledge, pull this lever. And that's going to lower this hanging box or crate with on chains. So you're going to come over to this ledge. Step on two eggs. At least I think they're eggs. I don't know. Hope they were eggs. Oh, there's another zombie worm. I guess we can call them zombie worms. I'm not sure of the actual name. If you know it, subscribers unite. Let me know the name of uh, said worms. But uh, as you can see, we died again. So uh, we're going to try this again. This time, let's, let's, let's do it again. Just for old time's sake, huh? Take the long walk of death. This game is really depressing. <laughs> the idea here is to pull this crate. Make sure that the zombie brain-eating worm doesn't get you before you pull the crate. Then you're going to push the crate over to the side because like I said you still have control of young Theodore here coming to the light you're going to change directions like we did before not exactly sure if we need the crate for this part but eh, why not it's there let's use it jump onto this ladder jump across let's not tempt fate jump down we'll climb down Jump to this little thing. That's going to play a part. That's going to break apart, and it's, the water's going to fill up. So now you got to change directions thanks to the ray of light. But hurry back. Don't take your time like I am. Jump onto that, and you want to climb up the ladder and leave. I haven't played this game in a while. You have to change directions again, so you're going to have to go back towards that light, but make sure you don't get into that path of the uh, water or whatever it is coming down. Now, I took a little too long, so I'm, I'm meeting my maker once again. Looks like he's trying to swim, doesn't he? <laughs> so, let's start it back here, round three or two. Jump across quickly. Try to get across as quickly as you possibly can. Those uh, lines, you know, jutting out of that ledge are actually nails. So uh, try not to get yourself caught on those. And again, I'm taking my time here for I don't know what reason. Climb up, climb up.
climb up. Wait for that section of pipe to float free. Uh, essentially, what we have to do is jump onto the pipe and get across, hopefully safely, to the uh, zombie worm eaters. But it died again. Gosh darn it. Okay, here we go. Water's gonna fill up again. Let's switch angles. Back this way, over the pipe, jump on the ladder. Jump to the other side. It's all time based. So, don't take too long. Obviously. Having a lot of fun playing this game. Uh, rediscovering what drew me to it in the first place. Not just because it's a platformer, but because it, it, it's it's just... I like playing... I like solving pu little puzzles along the way. I guess a lot of platformers back in the day did that too. When you're playing Zelda, and you had to find different different clues or different uh, areas to get to, you know, to get around Hyrule, to find the Triforce, so, a lot of the games like Super Mario Brothers and everything like that. So anyway, those creatures are going to eat the uh, zombie brain-eating worm. Eh, yeah, why not? Let's go this way. It rewarded us the first video with a... Nope, nothing over there. It was achievement the first video I got. Jump! Uh, come over this way. To our next area. Now that now that we're out of the forest, and I'm guessing which was the sewer, now we're in like a, a town, I guess. So now we're on rooftops. I guess this is the latter part of the game. Coming up to the end. Okay, obviously this is electrified. So we're going to have to find a way to turn it off somehow. So let's, let's see if we can hop... No. Can't do that. Let's, uh, let's try this one more time. Wait for the H in Hotel to go dark. I'll sit here twiddling my thumbs. Get back up there, Theodore. Come on now. Wait for the H. Wait for the H to go dark. Time it. Hop across. Get to the... Get to the O of hotel that's gonna swing down. Hit the T. It's gonna it's gonna drop down a little rope. To get to the rope. Oh, that was pretty lucky. Uh, you gonna hit this switch? That's gonna kill the power. Then you won't have to worry about getting electrified. <laughs> Once we get back up to here, we don't have to worry about meeting an unfortunate end. So we're going to get over our hotel, and I'm going to call it tonight. This has been episode 3 of Limbo. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good night, and I'll see you later. PlayStation.